Police are hoping new technology in their police cars will help reduce the number of officer-involved crashes resulting from distracted driving. It's called iForce. Police can operate it hands-free, allowing them to pay better attention to the road. KXAN's Katinia McHenry has more. So we have two computers in here. Texas Tag, Zappa Bravo, Charlie, one, three. The iForce is much like a high-tech navigation system in your car. With just lights? Except it can do more. Maps, radar, dash cam, and many more functions are built right in. Registration number 1108675. It was designed on the platform of an airplane cockpit, but helps its driver reduce stress. What's happening in a patrol car is very similar to what's been happening in cockpits of aircraft for many years. High stress environment, a small cockpit, a lot of controls to manage. You got people's lives at stake that you're trying to manage. This system is much more advanced than what patrol officers are already using in their vehicles. Officers don't have to touch anything on the screen with just their voice. Code 3, lights on. Code 3. They can make the lights come on, helping them stay safe in the vehicle, keeping their eyes on the road, and a very high-stress environment. Take down lights on. If you're on an emergency call, you really want your focus on the, on the road. Distracted driving is blamed on this crash. An officer hit a motorcyclist earlier this year. The cyclist was awarded $250,000. Another officer was suspended for crashing, distracted by his laptop. Look at the expense of litigation. This ultimately will pay for itself, and I think that you can't put a price on public or officer safety. The systems cost $10,000 each, but officers may be able to integrate the system into what they're already using to reduce costs. If officers like it and city Council approves patrol cars could see them in 2013. Code 3. Code 3. In Austin, Katina McHenry, KXAN News.